Debbie is in court to claim £1,657.76 pence for a refund on work carried out on her property, which she says was substandard. Defendant Lee says he was unaware of the problems, and as Debbie has not given him the opportunity to rectify the issues, he owes nothing. Do I have Debbie here? Yes. Thank you very much, madam. And is it Lee? It is, Jim. Lee, I can see you there with some discomfort. If at any time you want to sit down, do feel free. Please, Understood. Thank you. Now, Debbie, at some point, you wanted to have some work done on a property that you live in. Yes. There were various things you wanted. The first one were the doors. Am yes. I right? Yes. What doors did you want? Uh, four internal doors changing. Plain and simple doors. Plain and simple? Yeah. Understood. Now, sir, have you ever changed internal doors before? I have, yes. How many times? More than 100? Less than 100? Less than 100. And what other work did you want? I then said that the next big job I needed to have done was to have the fencing. Understood. Changed. Agreed? Agreed. And you were prepared and qualified to do that? I am, yes. Understood. Anything else, madam? Uh, in order to make what I call a picket fence across the bottom of the garden. So it was fencing and doors. Was there any yeah. other work that you wanted doing? No, that was it. Understood. What was a total agreed cost price? Total £1,657.76. That included all work and all materials, right? Correct. Let's deal with the doors. Did he show up to fit those doors? Eventually, yes. Well, when you said eventually, what was the agreed date he was going to show up? He roughly? was supposed to come at nine o'clock and he didn't get there till about quarter past twenty past nine on the first day and he only lives in the next road which is fine. Well madam listen some people show up a little bit late yeah. I've heard people showing up a year late. <laughs> this was 15 minutes. Yeah. We show up 15 minutes late perhaps? It's um, possible. Perhaps it was obviously I was just getting all my tools ready and it just took me slightly longer than what I anticipated. Were you standing there with a stopwatch or anything no, of that no. sort? You got there at quarter past nine tell me about the doors madam. Well, um, on this one, the door does not fit right at all. Let's have a look. That's with the door closed. And there's a nice gap straight down the side. Well, you use the word nice. I wouldn't <laughs> describe that as nice. Not unless you perhaps yeah. were worried about, I don't know, it's like a form of, it's like a form of carpentry meets air conditioning. Yes. <laughs> it's vented. Vented. Vented door. Um, all I forgot to do is put the bead in on the internal of the door frame. Well, it's not just a question of not putting the beading in, sir. The door doesn't shut. No, so it that it does shut, but obviously, you, yes, you can see a gap, but obviously with the beading there, you wouldn't even see that gap. I see. So your point is, I didn't complete the work properly, and had I had the chance, the beading would have cured that problem. It would, yes. Understood. What's wrong with the knob, madam? Um, you can see the wood filler, because you put the handle in the wrong place. Then you put wood filler around it. There is, yes. Yeah. So I basically measured incorrectly. I drilled the hole and the handle wasn't in the right place. I did explain to Debbie, obviously, I drilled it in the wrong place. I do apologise. I have got some wood filler. I will fill the hole. Once the door is painted, you will not see that filler at all. But if I have to buy a new door, then I will do. Did he say that? In so many words, yes. Well, he just said them yes. in so many words. Yes. <laughs> OK, then. Yes, he did. I'd say, I don't know, it was about 40 yeah. words. The other doors, please. There's four doors and I've got two different types of catches. It looks untidy. It looks untidy? Yeah. The oblong ones was the original one. I purchased round ones and um, that is the new one on the right hand side there is how you see it as it is new, not right. the old. What's the one on the left hand side? Is that a new one? Uh, no, that's the old one. Well, why did you leave the old one there and not simply replace it with a round one like she wanted? Right. If you can look, and without obviously insulting anyone's intelligence... Oh, thank if you. you. <laughs> if you look on the left-hand side, it is an oblong shape. I've then got to unscrew that and take it out of the door frame. I then have to then make... Um, you need to make whatever to, I can understand. Just assume for yeah. a second that you're not insulting my intelligence. <laughs> the point is, if you were to take that out, that would leave marks. It would. The problem would have been solved if you'd bought a bunch of oblong ones. Perhaps I'm being unintelligent. <laughs> yes, I could have bought oblong ones. I could have bought oblong Did ones. Did you check too. whether he'd purchased oblong no, ones? No, no, he bought both of those in. Would you have been happy with all oblong ones? Yeah. And all circle ones? You didn't care which ones? As long ones? as they all matched. 
don't be stupid. Stay and watch the best judgment of moments. And I'm talking. Understood? Don't be a moron. Subscribe to Judge Rinder YouTube channel. Right now, that's an order.